AP up here. Welcome to Freedom Watch Afghanistan. I'm Sergeant Jeremy Ross. Admiral Michael Mullen told military officers in Washington yesterday that three more brigades are needed in Afghanistan to effectively battle Taliban fighters and train Afghan forces. One brigade would be a training and mentoring force, while the other two would be combat brigades, totaling more than 10,000 troops. The United States has urged NATO allies for months to deploy reinforcements to Afghanistan, where 70,000 soldiers are fighting under separate U.S. and NATO commands. Mullen's comments came a day after German General Egon Roms called for six to 7,000 more troops. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff hopes the U.S. can reduce its troop presence in Iraq by the fall, which he says would allow more forces to join the fight in Afghanistan. Coalition forces in eastern Afghanistan are rebuilding the region by working with tribal elders. Army Sergeant Pat Malone shows us how coalition forces are using words, not weapons, to make a difference. Coalition leaders in eastern Afghanistan put their cards on the table last year with an offer to the Shinwari tribe. They promised that if the tribal leaders took responsibility for securing the area and reduced poppy cultivation, good things would happen. Elders from six districts met at the Achin District Center one year later to send a message back loud and clear. They've met the challenge. A majority of the Shinwari tribe had made a living by growing poppy. Coalition leaders will help the people profit through farming once again to fill the economic void. It's now our responsibility and that of the international communities to assist them by bringing reconstruction and other projects within this region to bring uh, the impoverished uh, uh, population that is now not working on the poppy fields uh, and provide them with other alternatives. Coalition leaders thank the tribal elders for making good on their end and now it's the coalition's turn to give back. Uh, the good news that was brought by the PRT commander today was that a road that is located just north of here that has uh, essentially stopped construction will start up again here in two weeks. The U.S. State Department also promised to put $10 million into projects in the Nangahar province this year. The group also discussed ways to improve security, economic development, reconstruction efforts and governance throughout the region. The Shinwari tribe looks forward to enhancing cooperation between their people and coalition forces, which will help ensure a brighter future. Army Sergeant Pat Malone, Achin District, Afghanistan. The 173rd Airborne Brigade Combat Team will transfer authority to the 1st Infantry Division's 3rd Brigade Combat Team in July. The transfer will complete a 15-month deployment in support of NATO's International Security Assistance Force. Now here's a look at your photos from the field. Captain Glenn Little of the Panshir Provincial Reconstruction Team examines an Afghan local during a medical outreach. The team examined more than 40 patients and provided much needed care. Most sailors in Afghanistan are serving individual augment deployments, meaning that they're often the only Navy personnel in their work sections. But as Marine Corporal Robert Durham shows us, there are still opportunities for sailors to get together and enjoy Navy camaraderie. It was a night of fun and fellowship at Bagram Airfield, as the Navy held its all-hands night. The evening started out with volleyball, then the Chief's Mess broke out the food. These sailors are all individual augmentees from all over the world. The All Hands Night gives sailors the opportunity to connect with shipmates from everywhere. This is good for the camaraderie, it gives people a chance to come out and loosen up amongst their own peer group so they're not worrying about the cultural differences and everything. Everybody here is a sailor and we all know each other and we know how we live and work and play. During the ceremony, the Sailor of the Month was recognized. The, the people I was competing against, they definitely uh, were good sailors. and. I really feel like they could, it could have went either way, but I'm really glad I won it. There was also a re-enlistment ceremony. I never thought I was going to make it past the first four years. And then eight years later, now I'm coming to re-enlist for number five. And I'm quite surprised I made it this far. This is the first of hopefully many more all-hands nights for these deployed sailors. I think we're going to have more. Absolutely. We got the Navy's birthday in October. So, and then I'm sure we'll probably do something for Christmas. And there's a couple events throughout the year we could probably put together and, and and bring everybody together again. Reporting from Bagram Airfield, I'm Corporal Robert Durham. That's all for this edition of Freedom Watch Afghanistan. I'm Sergeant Jeremy Ross. Have a great day.